Janine has been home to thousands of refugees since they were driven from their homes in 1948. This statement by Jeremy Bowen was a welcome setting of context from the BBC. Your website coverage also deals in more facts from the Palestinian side, showing the devastation wreaked by the Israeli army on the, on the defenseless people. There is no doubt, there's no doubting the courage of BBC journalists. They cover the terrorizing of occupied people by a country allowed to act with impunity by the international community. A country whose army targets journalists and denies them access to its operations. Yet it is your coverage on the mainstream news programs that we find problematic. Why is it acceptable to repeatedly call this attack an invasion a military operation? when you are scathing about Putin's description of his invasion of Ukraine as a special military operation. Helicopter gunships, one week, armoured drones, thousands of heavily armoured so, um, heavily armed soldiers, bulldozers and armoured vehicles the next. Thousands of helpless families forced to flee. Water and electricity facilities destroyed as well as homes. We call on the BBC to stop endlessly repeating the language of the Israeli state and to use the language of international law, which gives an occupied people the right to defend itself. Stop dehumanizing Palestinians who have the right to resist and the right to return under international law. Give Palestinian names and lives when you report on them and with the same weight of coverage you give Israeli lives. Margaret Thatcher called Nelson Mandela a terrorist, almost until she met him. The Russian invasion of Ukraine is war, and the reality of the occupation of Janine, Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem is apartheid, and the Israeli aim of ethnic cleansing the Palestine people. And that we to, tend to hand in shortly. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine. Free, free.